before we review Ernesto here, I think I should probably address the uh, World Grand Prix racer in the room. I'm uploading this video, filming and uploading this, on Sunday, October 25th. Earlier last week, I said that I'd be reviewing Miguel Camino on Saturday, October 24th. That it would be this whole big event, I, I'd have this big skit leading into the Miguel Camino review. Uh, as you could see, as you could tell, Saturday has passed and I'm still yet to review Miguel. I have accidentally been putting this guy off for months. I got him back in August and I'm still yet to review him. I thought I'd finally be able to do it this weekend, but uh, some stuff came up. I had to do a double upload of Cars Adventures yesterday and I found a new car to review. So now I'll once again be pushing back the Miguel Camino review until Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I'll finally be reviewing this guy. I promise this time, okay, Tuesday you will see the Miguel Camino review. It's got this big, stupid, ridiculous skit at the beginning of it. I'm really excited for it. I tried to make it as over the top and ridiculous as I possibly could. Uh, and I think it'll be worth the wait of way too long to review Miguel Camino. Anyway guys, with that out of the way, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ernesto, one of the Rusty's Racing Center trainees. If you know me, you know I'm not really the biggest fan of these guys, but I am glad that they went with a different color scheme for Ernesto here. So many of the trainees, as I've said several times in the past, are shades of blue and purple, so I'm very glad that Ernesto here is yellow. For those of you who are unaware, he did appear in the Cars 3 movie, but um, unfortunately, the die cast isn't how we see him in the movie. Alongside Jay, this year's other Rusty's Racing Center trainee, which I've already reviewed, Ernesto was seen with a virtual reality headset on, and I'm just really disappointed that we didn't see that for the die cast, because it would really make him a unique car. Uh, who knows though, maybe we'll see that in like a future uh, release as like a sort of funny flashbacks thing. Anyway though, as you can see here, we've got some nice artwork for him. We have the 95 for the Rusty's Racing Center series. The new Rusty's Racing Center features the latest in racer training technology. On the back we've got Ernesto, Trainer Cruz, and Lightning. And um, we've got Sterling and Rusty and Dusty there. You know, I'm going to miss having these series descriptions. The 2021 cars just say, as seen in Cars, as seen in Cars 2, as seen in Cars 3. Um, so you know what, we got to enjoy having individual series descriptions uh, while we still have them. So here is Ernesto out of the package, and I really do like the vibrant yellow color on him. Uh, taking a closer look at him, he's got kind of a sad facial expression. I'm not sure if that's intentional. Of course, these guys use the Danny Swerve as Next Gen model, which on most releases has a frown to go alongside the determined eye expression of the Next Gens. Uh, this guy... If you see him without the mouth, this is basically like a, a neutral face, you know. If he had a smile, he'd look happy, but since they're reusing a model with a frown on it, he just looks weirdly sad, I think. Uh, and that's something they do for a lot of these Rusty's Racing Center trainees. They should probably be happy, but since they're using the mouths of the original next-gen model, they all look kind of sad. I just think that's a little funny. Got these yellow highlights all over, including on the wheels and on the gas cap. We've got Rusty's Racing Center, number 25 there. Just your typical Racing Center details, of course. Really, nothing too special with this guy. Basically, if you've seen one of the trainees, you've seen them all. Um, we've got number 25 on the back there. There is this side, and there is the base. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys on Tuesday for the review of Miguel Camino, finally. Until I inevitably push it off again until Wednesday. See you guys next time, bye now.